Hello, my name is Caleb Wheeler. I am Tanner Boylan. Brandon No. We were also working with Clay Scarborough as Team 3, the Interconnected Robot Network. We were sponsored by Texas Instruments, and so they gave us six TI RSLK robots, as you can see here, which had great motors that we could move around. They had bumper switches, so if we ran into anything, we could realize that and stop. And then we decided to expand that to move them together in a swarm. So our goal was to have them move in coordinated shapes. We used something called a DWM 1000 module, which used ultra-wideband communication to figure out how far away they were from others of themselves. So you can see an early prototype here with all of the different jumper wires plugged up together. Once we were able to get the distances from how far they were from ones of each other, we put two as anchors. And so they were at the top left and the top right of the operating theater. And then the rest of the robots would move together in the center in figuring out how far they were from each. And we could then use triangulation math to figure out what its coordinates were. We also used a Python script on a computer as a ground control station so we could say, okay, this robot, go to this location, you move to another, and then we could say for them to all move in the shapes together once they had gotten to the correct starting locations. So one of the biggest challenges we have is how to get the robots to talk to each other and how they uh, recognize how far are them apart to each other. We, we spend the whole semester just to, uh, using this DDM1000 module here to figure out how they actually work together. Even though the outcome isn't as um, nice as what we hope it will be, it still is a great experience to go through all this with my team. So the overall configuration of the robot has the robot itself on the bottom, and we kind of had a sandwich of all of the different layers that were involved in the communication and the operation of the robot. So first, the robot has all of its things that are necessary for it to run mechanically, and then we have the MSP432, which is the controlling microcontroller that talks to all the peripherals on the robot, and so this is what we were given from Texas Instruments. We made the rest of it ourselves. The next step of the sandwich is a custom PCB that Tanner helped with the design process, and then we brought that up fully ourselves, and so that has power, communication, and then an LED circuit on it as well, which is able to give indications of whether you are successfully connected to the internet, whether you are driving autonomously versus being controlled at the ground control station using the WASD keys to drive it manually, and then we also finally have the Maker Fab UWB module on top of it and that contains the MSP or sorry the ESP32 for Wi-Fi communication and also the DWM1000 which is that ultra wideband technology module that figures out how far away the robot is from the other anchors in order to figure out its two-dimensional location so it's very cool to see all of these pieces working together we have the mechanical layer coding in C one level up C++ the level up beyond that and then Python on the computer and so it was a really great experience to see the integration of all of these and work on each of our subsystems together. Overall, it was a very exciting project and we learned a lot about how Wi-Fi communication, how ultra-wideband communication works for localization and all sorts of other things that we learned of the nitty-gritty of an embedded system on the MSV432 in C, using C++ on a different microcontroller and then using Python on a computer. Putting all that together was a great experience and I really enjoyed working with my fabulous team.